Today I'm going to show how to set up the longer diode laser rotary. So yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. And it's adjustable from very close, you know, you've got a lot of adjustment in there. And if you look on the instructions, it'll tell you, it'll tell you for what size your object is to what spacing you want on it. So I measured this 74. So I called into this, 70 to 102 needs to be on roller number three. So you can see there, it's actually on number four at the moment. So I'm just gonna undo this, undo this one. I'm gonna undo these. So it's got a little bit of movement. And just lift this up, move it along to number three. You want it quite tight because otherwise you don't want it skipping any teeth. Okay, so that's that. And this, you can see the head, you know, is going to hit this. So, and as well, I'm going to have this on top. So it needs to go up a bit. The easiest way I found is I found a couple of four by fours. So I'm just going to lift this side up and put it onto there. And that's all still pretty level because these are the same post. I'm going to put my tumbler on there. So when you get the rotary, it comes with two cables. The white plug is used for the Ray 5. So once you've got that off, you just want to slot this into here. And you can see it goes in that slot there. Yeah. And then this end, take down to here, plug that in. I'm going to bring this up. Yep, so you can see when you click laser, uh, when you click laser tools under rotary setup, you want the roller, you want to enable rotary, you want to mirror the output to the rotary, leave it on the y axis, steps per rotate, uh, millimeters per rotation 56, roller diameter 18, and then if you want to work out the circumference of your object. You just measure how wide it is and put it in the top here and then that's it. that'll tell you how wide it would be if you basically, you know, cut it down the middle and unfolded it. The second one I done, which I think came out better, once I wiped this off, I believe this will come off, was a 5,000 speed and a 75 power. So now with the laser, this bar, I'm going to line that right up in the centre of the cup. I'm going to get my measuring block. Sit that on there so everything's nice. And now I'm going to take out the measuring tool. For the rotary, instead of absolute coordinates, you want user origin. And then that way you can select on this job origin, make sure it's in the centre, and then you'll see there's a green dot in the centre. So now the job's going to start from here. So all you've got to do is centre up your machine to the cup so you want to get it right in that middle point right where you've got the measurement to yep so you can see if i click frame on here it's gonna show me right where that design's going right where i want it on the top of the cup and you can see that comes back to the center spot again because i have center job origin selected so i'm going to put my glasses on and start this etching uh, you want to go to layers and make sure you have about the right settings that you want and i'll get a time lapse of it going okay you can see that just finished and it's gone back to the center yeah this is the longer air assist that they sent air pump DY30A and it comes with a little one off switch so you'll hear it when I switch it on it's not loud but you know it put, puts out quite a nice bit of air I'm sure you can hear that going so now I'm gonna send this one more time this time with air assist on and then I'll wipe them both off and see the difference also I'm turning up my lines per inch to 300 frame yep and start 
It does say cut might be cut might be out of bounds, but I think it's because the other cable isn't plugged in. I'll just say yes, continue anyway. That's what I did last time. I'm just going to get a bit of fine wire wall, a tiny bit of WD-40 onto it. Yeah, you can see there. As I've had done it twice, it would have uh, showed up a lot better. Maybe you can see it better being a bit darker. Yep, that's the clean side. That side weren't enough power and round the wrong way. So. Yep, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll put out some more videos as soon as possible. Thank you.